Hello guys, you and Zotov Dance Production and I am Roman Zotov and I'm gonna share today my tutorial how to use your standing side or free side when you dance the rumba walk. It will be a little bit two different style. Yeah, so let's talk about the what means the standing leg and what means the free leg. So the standing leg it's where you have the weight so that all the time when you transfer your weight you feel the one standing side it means you all like most of the weight or most of the part of the, your weight receiving on the standing leg yeah so like 80 percent 90 100 percent when you stay for example now it's my left leg it's my standing leg but free leg it's my right so that's we can call that all the right side it's my free side or my left side it's my standing side because i'm staying here or if i change also like that the standing side is my right leg and the free side is my left leg yeah and we have kind of like two different actions. It's all the questions like from other teachers, like which side I'm supposed to use when I'm doing, for example, rumbo walk forward and rumbo walk backward. Yeah. So uh, let's talk about the first, as usual, the uh, standing side, because it's like most of the time I heard that. So when we start to dance and you need to feel how you like try to rotate it, your standing side back to bring your free side forward to kind of door feelings yeah so that but oh uh, that's a little bit different than because my muscles power my action happened here my reaction is my free side yeah so it's kind of that feelings when I kind of rotate my body and after that I start to move my body forward yeah and again again I start to use my standing side back and I move my body forward so also my hip going back yeah so of the standing leg and then start to go forward and then it's like two four. If we talk about the back step, it's also the same idea. I supposed to be maneuver my body, like maneuver my standing leg back, because that's initiate my steps. Yeah. So that also idea like I start to move my standing leg back, and after that I step back. And again I move my step back, side, and step back. Standing side back and step back, standing side back and step back. I repeat one more time for you. And standing side, walk. Standing side, walk. Standing side, walk. Standing side, walk. Even the back, standing side, walk. Standing side, walk. Standing side walk standing side walk now i'm going to show you like another style when we start to think about the free side so it will be a little bit different also the backward steps will be different angle of the, your hips yeah so that now we're not talking about the standing side i don't think what's happened here this is just i feel the weight here but all the muscles will be like pushing forward my free side because the free side some of the like uh, medical person called me like how we can use the standing leg because the standing leg is our axle it's supposed to be unmoved and we're supposed to use the free part because it's free part we are like kind of that feeling so we start to push in our rib cage we start pushing our hips and that moment you will feel how the hips will be higher and after that you move the step forward and again you start to feel the free part dragging forward and walk forward free part dragging forward and walk forward also the step back yeah so if we talk about the free leg i will start to think open the open my hip back of the free part compare with the standing leg it was opposite yeah with the standing leg it was like that i move my back like that but now we move the free part back and step again free part back and step also the hip will be higher and back step keep you be higher and back step so okay I'm guys you're watching my tutorial at the end and please leave your comment below this video we wanna and we also expecting the feedback we want to know that do you like that one or don't like so write down your decision and uh, we will appreciate that and we will next time to make maybe new one video for you also